Going live. Going live. Going hot. Let everybody join. It's uh, March 2nd, 2018. It's Ouija Friday. Um, I'm Scott, and we're going to be doing some uh, Ouija stuff tonight. And I'm going to address this right up front. I do not do readings on the Ouija board. This is for fun. We do this kind of stuff over here, um, you know, for entertainment purposes, okay? I'm going to back you up a little bit so we can see the boards. Hi, everybody who's joining already. I appreciate it. Um, it is a cold, junky day here in the Northeast. New Jersey is getting uh, hammered with snow and rain and a lot of wind, so I'm glad that we didn't lose any power. And I feel bad for everybody who did. kind of stinks. Um, the house is freezing, though. Oh, nice to see you too. Hi there. Um, so we're going to have a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. Of course, we're going to do the Ouija board. I have my notes here. Um, Shelly is over here, so if you see me looking over there and talking, uh, she's on the couch making faces at me. Freezing? Freezing to death. It is so cold in here. Um, if you'll notice, I put up a, a photograph before we started. Um, I have my newer Ouija board, which is probably about 15 years old. And then I have the real old one that I've been using for a while that was given to me uh, from that uh, lady who is the um, Wiccan who used it all the time. So uh, I did it because I'm going to see if we can get different results from the two different boards. If you remember when I first started, I was using my this board that I pulled out of the, uh, out of the basement because I haven't used my Ouija boards in a long time. And... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to start with this one. And basically what was happening is when I was using it, I kept getting the same answers back and forth. Um, and it kind of coincides with what I want to talk about on Tuesday, which is something that is called the Zozo Phenomenon. And I don't really want to talk about it too much tonight, but it's definitely something that I want to bring up because it was sort of something that was kind of happening here. And whether that's uh, you know something psychologically um, that happens or if there's actually a spirit that connects and does something, I don't know. And that's one of the reasons why we do this uh, Ouija Friday thing. It's kind of fun to see what, what kind of results we get from everything. Oh, hi. Ginger's on, Shell. Hi, Ginger. Shelly says hi, Ginger. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Catherine. Oh, it's cold there too, huh? Hi, Carlene. Nice to see you. Hi, Arlene. Hi, Bree. Bree Sue. I know who you are. Even with your <laughs> fake name, I, I know you. I'm watching. Um, so underneath this, uh, this video, is, there's a link to a, a website called Behind the Paranormal. Um, if anybody out there is really interested in free um, podcasts for the paranormal, I really suggest that you go and check that out. Um, the gentleman who hosts it is a uh, paranormal investigator for, yeesh, I think, d since during the 70s. Uh, his name is Ben Eno, and his son um, is probably about 25 or so, I guess. He's also a paranormal investigator, and uh, they've been working on cases forever up in, uh, like, Mass so New England or Massachusetts, one of those two. And anyway, um, they have a really good podcast where they had um, some people on that experience the Zozo phenomenon. Um, so if you have a chance, click on the link underneath this video um, that I posted right before we went live and check that out. And you can browse. They have all kinds of cool stuff. UFO, um, you know, ghost stuff, uh, poltergeist, Bigfoot, er everything and anything. It's a really good show. The guy's a really good interviewer, so I really suggest it. it's completely free. You download it right to your tablet, right to your phone, right to your computer, wherever you listen. All right? So with that, um, also I want to say hi to Tammy there, who's uh, moderating the discussion page and also doing some writing for us over with us over at scottyandjmedium.com. Hey there. Hey Fred. Hi Sue. Hi Rachel. All right. So we're gonna get started with my newer board. Now I wish I had some felt on this. You can really feel the difference between the one with it and without it. But it is what it is, I guess. Um, and if anybody can see, I don't, I don't know if you guys can see this. I have a little piece of, uh, my little piece of Suli and uh, my tourmaline here. I was feeling a little, feeling a little untethered before I started this. Then I was feeling a little anxiety, so I wanted to bring out something to help ground me out. All right, so let's get this party going. I got the Natural Psychic book today from Barnes and Noble. Looking forward to reading it. Oh, good. I hope you like it. I really, I really do enjoy that book. I did enjoy it. Okay, so is there anybody there who wants to speak with us?
H. Z. L. Got a little dizzy there. A. N. So, of course, it's not making sense to begin with. N. O. T. S. C. O. T. T. Said not Scott. C. A. N. T. B. A. N. G. Bang. N. Y. J. O. N. S. T. Y. Sty. K. Y. If anybody's keeping track of this, do me a favor if you if you want to keep track and see what it's saying, because Shelly's taking the break tonight. N O P E. Nope. W O Y L E a D Okay, so it's kind of just rambling, which is sort of something that we have to uh, get at. Hey, Daniel, how are you? Yeah, long time no talk. Nice to see you. Um, is he English? Okay, let's ask. Are you English? And he says yes. He is English. Yeah, also, um, ask questions. I don't have a million questions to ask. I've been doing this every week. So if you're new to this, Basically, if you type stuff up in here into the comments, I'll read it, and then I'll ask, and then we get responses. Um, and if you are new, welcome. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Um, we have a lot of fun. I'm Scott. It's nice to see you there. If uh, you could do me a favor and hit the old share button on there, that helps immensely. Our page is almost up to a thousand uh, followers and likes. That's crazy. H I I S T O N E stone W Y K M Hey Cisco Hi Sue Hey everybody's like friends over here they all say hi to each other B A N D band again Oh you gonna join? You just off to the side though? Yeah V Everybody said hi to you, by the way. Hello. Why? Shelly's now closer to me. She got off the couch. She's right over here on the side. Crazy hair. She's got crazy hair. We both got haircuts this week. H I. Spirit says hi. So, who has some questions for the spirit? I'm going to let you guys kind of lead it for me today. Um, got a dry thing in my mouth. Yeah, would you mind? Thank you so much. I'm such a terrible host. I should have gotten myself some water. What is his or her name? Good question. What is your name, Spirit? G A N E Y. Gainey? L A N D. Land? Y O U B I M P N O Y I don't know. 
Everybody says hi, she hi Shelly. <laughs> um, let's see. J I N X. Jinx? <laughs> okay, so we didn't really get a solid name. Gainy Land? Okay. Catherine says, How old and how did she leave? You think it's a she, Gainy? Alright, let's go with that. Well, let's ask Are you a male? Are you a female? Okay. Are you a man? Yes. I don't think we've really had any females on this board, have we? And yeah. any of these nights. It's very male predominant, um, which is crazy. Okay. How old are you? How old were you when you passed? Six? One. Sixty-one. What year did you pass away? One. Nine. Three. Three. Eight. Nineteen thirty-eight. Now, you're going to have to tell me the truth. Nineteen thirty-eight, is that true? Yes. Danielle, why, why do you say your mom? You ch -ch -ch type, what does that mean, my mom? Where are you from? H I G H L A N D S Highlands. Well, if anybody doesn't know, uh, we're in Middletown, and the Highlands is uh, I don't know what five minutes down the road. <laughs> All right. V A I N S Veins. But that's veins like. Vein. Like veins, right? No. V V oh, like, I N oh, is like your vein. Not me. I bet you think this. <laughs> I bet you think this song is about you, don't I you? I bet you do. W. O. Now I have to go. R. Get my Carly song S and CD out. T. M. O. What are you doing? N. S T E R. But it said worst no. first. Monster. Worst <laughs> monster. M I N T Y. Minty. Wow. Oh, that was a good one. Scott about a song. Yeah. I come up with them every once in a while. Hey, Kelly. How did you pass? G. How did you pass away? G. Uh, G isn't an answer, though. G. Stuck on G. Weird. Yeah, worst monster is what it said, right? Crazy. He has been to his home he lived at since he's passed. Joel, I'm sorry if I'm missing anything. I'm sorry, I apologize. D. Oh. I'm going to tell you what, I keep getting really dizzy. I keep feeling waves of like dizziness, which is abnormal. Z. E. I really am feeling dizzy. Dozer? As long as it's not Gozer. <laughs> yeah, if it was Gozer, I have to get my proton pack. A. N. D. E. R. S. Ganders? Wanders. W A N D E R S. Right. Hi Kelly. Worst yeah, this is crazy. 
Um, L, L, E, A, M, L, E, A, M, N, E, Y, L, E, N, Y, Lenny, L, E, N, N, Y. Somebody named Lenny, maybe. We asked like 500 times what the person's name was, and they finally gave us a name, Lenny. Um, hi, Terry. Nice to see you there. We just became friends on Facebook, and I think you started following the page. That's cool. Welcome. Uh, anybody who's new here, uh, we're just doing a little bit of Ouija on Friday night, like we always do at 9 o'clock. I um, have my newish board out, F, E, a, R, S, fears. So a lot of times is uh, we get information that comes in. We don't try to bridge any gaps or anything like that. We're just trying to see what the spirits have to say and, you know, how much of this is real and how much maybe might be nonsense. I don't know. I myself am very skeptical of using a Ouija board. Uh, I just like doing it because everybody's kind of interested in it. Um, so let's see. Are you trying to reach out to anybody, Lenny? V, O, N. Vaughn? Is that how you spell that? <laughs> yes. V O N. And he said, yes. That's how you spell it. Lenny, do you have a last name? D A A D A A is in the name, I don't think. T E A R S Tears Before that it was fears Now it's tears Uh oh L I A R S Liars Anybody have any questions for Lenny? J I N X Jinx again. You owe me a Coke? I said no. No, I don't. <laughs> Pepsi. Pepsi's fine. W H O A R E Y O Is this something? Who are you? You. Yeah, who are you? They're asking us. Lenny wants to know, who are you? Lenny, mm -hmm. I am Scott. It's nice to meet you, buddy. My hands are cold, but it is cold in the house. Is there anything I can do to help you with, Lenny? F I N D M Y P A N T S Need my pants? He said find my <laughs> find my pants. Lenny wants me to help him find his find his pants. <laughs> We, he can't even find his own pants, Lenny. No, that's I why I'm married. I have to have somebody find my pants. Y O U S T I N K. You stink. <laughs> rude. Ghosts are rude, I guess. Last year, last week we had a guy named Steve on here, and he was being kind of a wise guy too. Um, but I mean. Oh, why is it cold? Because it's like 22 degrees outside and our house stinks. There's like probably newspaper in the walls for insulation. It's an old house. <laughs> it's just old. G A T E S. Gates M O N E Y. Money S T 
O N E stone W A L D O N Keats Money Stone Walden Weird no, I meant that's why. Oh, he wants his pants because it's cold. <laughs> Is this my water right here? Yeah. Ah, thank you. I have a pink cup. I'm man enough to drink out of a pink cup, believe me. It's made of plastic because I drop stuff. Uh, we had beer cans for insulation. Wow, that's crazy. Maybe the people who built your house uh, maybe just like to drink a lot of beer. If you had a Ouija board in your house, would it be like, you know, never mind. Bad joke. You're getting drunk too much. Never mind. Okay. Lenny. Is there anything we could do for Lenny? Let's ask. Lenny, can we help you with something besides finding your pants? Yes. What is it we can do for you? S. T. O. P. Stop. S. N. O. W. Stop snow. H. A. Ha. Huh. So, here's something that's really interesting um, that I'm going to say about the Ouija board. Um, every week is different. We always get a different variety of kind of, I guess, spirit, if it is that. Um, and we're openly connecting. Um, before I started the video today, I said my intention so nothing low level would come in and manipulate the board or try to manipulate me. So I know that I am dealing with, um, at least if this is a spirit, it's a human spirit. Um, and last week, the, the guy, Steve, had a sense of humor. This week, this guy has a, a sense of humor. So it's pretty interesting. Um, Sometimes we get very unintelligible things, and I I can understand that doing what I do regularly, because if you've had a reading with me, sometimes I draw something out or I say something, and it makes absolutely no sense, except for the person who's getting the reading. So, you know, if I say socket wrench, the spirit showing me a socket wrench, and I don't know why they're showing it to me, and you, you know, had something funny happen recently with a socket wrench, then it makes sense to you, and, and you understand it. So... This is interesting that he said he can't find his pants and he wants to stop snowing and he said, ha, um, I don't know, did he pass away with no pants on outside? Now he's cold? I have no idea. Um, and he says he's from the town uh, south north of us. So uh, it's pretty interesting. So if you have any questions for Lenny, he's pretty open. He seems to be pretty funny. H. U. A. N. T. E. D. Haunted. M. A. N. S. I. O. N. Haunted Mansion. T. A. K. K. E. M. E. H. O M E Take Me Home So Oh boy People got psychic questions I don't know We'll get to that Because when we're done doing this We have a little time tonight um, Since there's not really much going on I'll do some pendulum readings Okay uh, What kind of shoes were you wearing Lenny? Why a N K E E Yankee T E N N I S S H O E S But he said Yankee tennis shoes. That's interesting. Um That's interesting. It, that was a good question, though. I never asked the spirit what kind of shoes they were wearing. Y A N K 
K-E-E, -E, Yankee. Are you a Yankee? Okay. Are you a Yankee, like, baseball player? Yes. I don't know. Can anybody find somebody named uh, Lenny? That's a uh, former Yankee baseball player that maybe had an unfortunate time with his pants. <sighs> Holy shit. I'm not kidding. I keep getting really dizzy. Like, just waves of diz dizziness are coming over me. L. I. N. T. Lint. Y. O. U. L. I. N. D. E. N. Linden. S. T. I. N. K. Stink again, all right. D. E. A. D. Dead, okay. W. O. N. T. G. O. Won't go. Woof. Hold this for a second. Just Google, no such brand, just give some stuff about the New York Yankees. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Oh, maybe he has New York Yankees symbols on the shoes. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, Strauss Mansion is in Atlantic Islands. Um, I've only been in it once years ago, so I don't know. Um, but 1938 would put that at about the right time frame for somebody to be in there. Um, that place has been off limits for a very long time. C A R T S carts B A R N S T Z Okay. So okay, I'm sorry, I am trying to um keep up with everybody's asked questions. It's uh Cisco says, is he seeking help? Is he lost or stuck? Okay. Resetting the planchette. Lenny. Do you need help? Yes. Are you lost? No. Are you stuck? No. Are you a spirit? Yes. Are you a ghost? No. Are you just here to visit? Yes. Why is he visiting me? That's a good question. Lenny, why are you visiting? H A N G O U T. <laughs> just coming to hang out. It's one of the boys. Isn't that interesting? He doesn't need help. He's saying he doesn't need help. He Hi, Michelle. Just bought a bottle of Jack. Oh, yeah, I do have some Jack Daniels. I hope he likes that. <laughs> yep, my man. Whew. S. W. I. N. G. Swing. B. A. T. S. Bats. Uh, are you a baseball fan? Yes. Figured that. Yankees? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So, I mean, this seems very intelligible tonight. There's a lot of information that's coming through. Um, and one of the things I could tell you um, about myself is I'm not a big baseball person, so I don't think that I am influencing any of the answers here. Um, I certainly don't call my sneakers tennis shoes. Um, right? And nothing like that. So this isn't me influencing it. This could possibly be somebody that we're connecting to and he seems to be very friendly one of the things that I have to tell you is be careful when you're doing using a Ouija board because things sometimes can be friendly and then end up not being friendly so it's very important that you have checks and balances that you don't go chasing down things uh, that the board tells you about okay C A T cats and O D E nude <laughs> W H O P L A 
Y S B A L L Cat Snowed who plays ball Does anybody here play uh like baseball? Did he live on Linden Ave in Highlands? Well, that answers your question right there. That was fast. We gotta say something over here. <laughs> H A N G O U T. Hang out. Uh, and he said, yes, he does. did live on Linden Ave in the Highlands. M. Y. M. O. M. L. I. Where are you going? V. E. S. Lives? Still lives? T. H. E. Okay, I think you know where this is going, right? T R E. My mom lives there. Interesting. That's cool. So this is one of those things. So I'm gonna take another break real quick and say that if you're new here, we just do this for a little bit of fun to uh, see what's going on with the Ouija board. Um, try to use it and give people a little bit of education on it. Um, whew, I'm having a little bit of. I am personally having a little bit of an experience, and it feels very strong. So just to let you know, and it's not any kind of theatrics. I did have a little bit of anxiety before I started this, so it might have been the spirit like kind of pressing on me a little bit, and I wasn't recognizing it. Catherine says, Lenny, were you married? He says he was not. Did you have a girlfriend? Yes. Um, I'm not even going to ask the next question, because he said her name was Catherine. I can hear him say it. Is that right? Yes. You call her Kathy, right? Yes. Okay. Whew. A N D and W A N T T O P L A Y What does it say want to play? I want to play D A R T S Darts And want to play darts um, That's strange huh? So, very interesting stuff going on here. Um, I'm going to keep him on for a little bit longer because he's a very good communicator and good spirit. And uh, I seem to be get, getting a little bit of information from him. So, if you have any questions, please pass them along to me. You can just put them in the comments right there. Um, in the meantime, I wrote down some stuff that I want to talk to you about. Um, on Tuesday, we're going to be talking about the Ouija board. I'm going to talk about William Fold, the William Fold Society, the Talking Board Society. We're going to talk about uh, strange phenomena that have happened with the Ouija board, uh, some stories. Um, if you've been following along in the Paranormal Discussion page, um, that is, if you're new here, Scotty, the NJ Medium's Paranormal Discussion page, look that up. It's attached to this page that you're watching this on. And uh, we have a discussion page that we talk about the topics of the week. And this week is all about the Ouija board. So if you go over there, um, I posted some videos already. Uh, Tammy, who's a moderator over there, has been posting some stuff up over there, which is really good, some content um, to familiarize yourself with the things that we're doing. B A T S. Bats. You said that. K I N D E R S. Kinders. T I N. T O N F A L L S Titan Falls. 
Interesting. That's another town that's not too far away from here. Um, oh, Kath. Oh, that's interesting, Kathy. Did you, by any chance, know this person? Do you know anybody named Lenny? I don't know. It's a shot in the dark, but it's an interesting question. Um, Madison says, why does he want to play? Why do you want to play? L O V E I T. Love it. So he loves the game. Talk to Tammy. I'm going to get some stories together for your page. We're all over for you. Awesome. Thanks. You guys are the best. Support group is the best for all big undertakings like these. Um, all right. So you know what? I'm going to let this guy go, and then I'm going to switch to the other board and see what happens. Um, but we have everything written down, and I think last week what we did was we took a picture of it, and we posted it up to the page so everybody can see what we wrote down, well, what Shelly wrote down. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to say thanks for coming. Lenny, we appreciate it. Thanks for talking to us on our board. Um, and we're going to say goodbye, and then we're going to invite somebody else to come in and talk. Is that okay, Lenny? Yes. Okay, Lenny. Just remember, you don't, you can't stay here, but you don't have to go home. Is that right? You can't stay yeah, here, but you don't have to go home. <laughs> goodbye. Bye, bye, Lenny. Goodbye. That was fun. All right, so I'm going to switch to the other board. Um. Sorry, I already said goodbye to him, Catherine. Um, I like that all of you uh, folks that tune in all the time are very, very nice and talking to each other. It's very cool. Um, let's see, real quick before we start the next little session going here, um, and let me take out my... I don't know if Sue is still watching. This is uh, a pendulum that Sue had uh, made for me and sent to me. It's really nice. Um, it's a little bit different than the kind that I was offering. Sue's a professional, though at Sue, Sue Stitches and Stones on Instagram. I'll post her page up. She's really great. Um, doing all this kind of crafty knickknacks and stuff. All right, so here's my really old board. Um, so let's see. Let's talk real quick. Sorry if I'm getting all up in your grill. Um, Stubby's Deli. We're working on a lot of stuff over there. Um, I haven't had a chance to get back there and set up the trail cam again. I've been very busy between work and my regular stuff and everything else that goes on in life. Um, don't have too much dead time here. So we're working on that. Um, I hope it's okay. My cousin Kelly actually just hit me up before I started this session and uh, she, she's the one that works at the deli over there and uh, she said that this morning her husband was taking a shower and uh, he heard her supposedly calling for him while he was in the shower and as it turns out while she was uh, while he was taking the shower, he was she was sleeping. So Kelly was asleep. My cousin heard her calling him in the shower, and uh, you know she wanted to know if maybe there was something that could have followed her home from the deli. It's it's unlikely, but it can happen. But what happens a lot of time when you get start getting involved um, with a lot of paranormal stuff or ghost stuff is you start paying closer attention to the things around you, and uh, you can actually invite some of the energy in to. To interact with you. So um, I've mentioned here on this before that in my own home, um, I've heard my wife talk to me and it wasn't her. My daughter has heard me talk to her and I wasn't even in the house. Um, and you also experienced the same thing, right, Joe? Mm -hmm. um, she heard me talking to her and I wasn't here at all either. So it's very interesting uh, with mimicking and stuff like that. Some people say that it's a negative sort of thing, but I wouldn't say so. We don't really have anything negative that happens here. Um, we do feel a lot of tension and anxiety. Um, and I have been meaning to sage, so I need to get to it because I think it's really starting to build up a little bit. She's doing this. A lot of lip service. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Um, I'll give it about 15 minutes and then we'll do 15 minutes of pendulum readings. And uh, Brenda, I see your comment there and we'll try, okay? That's fine. <laughs> okay, I, I'm glad you're not upset with me saying um, that I was talking about that. Angel, hi Angel, nice to see you there. Angel lives uh, in a very cool spot in town, or at least she used to. Um, a lot of cool ghost stuff over that way. We're actually investigating some, I know Angel, I'm not going to say where you live, but we're investigating something up the street from your parents' house um, that's happening right now. It's very cool. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get to that. All right. 
Uh, Cisco says, please tell Shelly I just finished her rose quartz pendant while watching you guys tonight. Picks on your messenger. Her thank pick. you. Oh, she says thank you. Okay, we're going to get the next spirit going, okay? All right, no... This is how we start, right? Because if you're going to use a Ouija board, I want you to see the right way to do it. So we're going to say... I say a lot of times in my mind, I'm going to say it out loud for you. Okay? We're not going to let any low-level lying energies in. Nothing evil, bad, or malicious is allowed to speak to us. We only want to speak to good, benevolent spirits, uh, human and above. Okay? Just a simple intention. Does anybody here like to speak with us? And it goes D, A, N. Dan. T, A, L, K. Dan, talk. F, A, N, N, Y. Fanny. F, A, N, N, Y. Fanny. Is Fanny somebody you want to speak to? Yes. G, A, N, G. S, T, E, R, S. Gangsters. Interesting. M, A, C, E, D. Maced. H, I, M. P, A, D, L, O, C, K, E, D, padlocked, H, I, M, S, T, I, L, L, O, P, E, N. That was a lot. Dan, talk, Fanny, Fanny. You went too fast there, okay. I'll tell you exactly what it says. Gangsters maced him, padlocked him, still open. Thank God Shelly was... Um, wow, that was a lot. Hi, Tria. Nice to see you there. Hi, Kathy. Nice to see you. Yeah, I thought, um, if you're not the same angel, then I guess, uh, I'm thinking of somebody else. Sorry. Um, there's another angel I know that goes by the same moniker right there as you. And she lives in our town, and she lived on a very, uh, paranormally active street. Case still open. Yes, that's exactly what it said, Michelle. Interesting. All right, Dan. Can we help you? Yes. Um, is your case still open? Yes. Uh, how did you pass away? D A N. Dan? Yeah, is that your name? Yes. Um, how did you die? G U N S H O T S. Gunshots. Interesting. Okay, definitely a different angel. Sorry about that. Very funny, though, that you would come up like that, right? Somebody with the same uh, the same name that lives in our town that has some paranormal stuff going on. Well, hi, Angel there. Welcome. Welcome to everybody who is new here. This is really interesting. We have another spirit on our older board. Um, and uh, now my ear's getting hot. My right one. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Uh, you know what's funny is I keep hearing the word hinges. Now, like this guy's communicating normal, like normal mediumship wise. Uh, listen, I hate to do this because I know we're using the Ouija board, but I gotta do this like this. Uh, he's saying hinges, heavy, guards. Grace, is Grace a name? Uh, he's showing Grace, and then he's showing, like, uh, Mother Mary. If this makes sense to anybody, just let me know.
Man, he's making me feel a ton of pain in my head. And he's like, of course that's where I'm showing you the pants where they effing shot me. They did a lot of bad stuff to this guy. He's like showing me like his head getting chopped off too after that. Ugh. Yeah, he's like, he showed me like getting shot in the head and then having his head taken off. This guy isn't nice. Now he doesn't want to go anywhere. He's saying they have a lot of explaining to do. Well. Mar the word marriage came in. grief I show me two little girls uh, and he put flowers next to them and they passed also this guy's crazy at, at doing this this is weird um, I don't normally let information come in like this um, Let's see what everybody says. I'm going to go back. Uh, Dan's last name. Uh, I asked him and he really wouldn't tell me what it was. <laughs> um, where are you from there, Dan? From New York. You know, this is crazy. I'm right on top of the Ouija board and I feel the paper keeps feeling like it wants to move out from uh, my hand here. He's making me feel like New York State is where he's from. He's very Italian. Very Italian. Like, did the word gangsters come in earlier? No. No, it didn't. I'm just hearing it now. Or from him, right? Gangsters, that's I'm what he sure, said. Like Yankees and yeah. football playing earlier. Keep showing a bridge. See, I'm getting all this pain in the back of my neck. Ask him to back off. No, nah, he's, he's definitely not Native American at all. Dan, what is it I can do for you, buddy, while you have my attention? He said, chase him down. He's not nice. He's saying slay them. Where are you from? Where do you reside right now? It's Gar? Garwood? Where's Garwood, New Jersey show? Up north. He's saying That's Garwood. That's where uh, that crossroads uh, place is, that Brian Fallon place. And all the other people. Uh, you said, Joel, you asked what year is this? Uh, he says 1929. Tammy, can you move anything on my dad? Yeah, Nicole. Nicole, I would probably say he was something to do with, uh... I would definitely say he had something to do with the mob. <laughs> And now he's saying the word, the name Murdoch. That's you. You're Murdoch. Cisco, that's you. He said your name. He's giving me a ton of pain. Like, right, this is what I feel like, okay? You know, when the corner does that Y incision? That's, I don't know what the heck this guy's problem is. For anybody who's never watched this before, I don't do this. Um, this is not a, a normal thing, but the Ouija board would have taken too long to grab this information. Well, Cisco, uh, 
he's saying to me he gravitates towards you. That's what he said. He said, I gravitate towards her. That's what he said. I don't know if you've been somewhere ghost hunting there, Cisco. Um, and you accidentally picked this dude up. He said, you got me chained. And he's swearing a lot. He keeps saying the F-bomb. F, 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 F. Those all stand for the four-letter word. You know what I'm talking about. I just want to keep it clean. In case anybody watches this later, I don't want them to hear that over and over again. Man, he's angry. He's making me bite down hard. I think this is why I was feeling so anxious earlier. When I was telling you I wasn't feeling good on the couch? Yeah. Should have recognized it, that there was an issue. Melbourne? Like, Melbourne, Australia. It's weird. So what do you think about that? Cisco. He and he's saying to me, I'm gonna have to take a nightcap. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. Let me ask you a question, Shell. I know we have turned the heat up recently, but has it gotten really warm in the last like two minutes? Yeah. Because it takes a half hour for Oh, there's a the Melbourne, hour. New York? I did not know that. Thank you. Kathy lives near a Melbourne, Florida. Well, they, this is stuff that just keeps coming up. Now, now he's saying, I'm going to throw some chairs. Well, if he throws any chairs in this house, he's a super energy because these are, I'm sitting on high top chairs. They're really heavy. Whew. I know you keep saying he can go. He's saying I'm not going anywhere. That's what he keeps saying. It, every time you say, tell him the cross, he's saying I'm not going. So he said the word tradition. And then he showed, oh, he said the word tradition, and then he showed me a cross. I got, that was loud and clear. He's not going without a funeral. Whew. That was something. Wow. Hi, Josie. Wow, that's crazy. Uh... Yeah, he said, I, um, Angel says, did he ever live in New York? And he said, yeah, I effing lived in New York. Yeah, I agree with you, Joel. His anger is definitely keeping him here. He's like, um, oh my God. I feel like I put pop rocks in my mouth. Now, for anybody that's an aspiring medium or wants to do anything like this you got to learn how to deal with these really intense energies like this guy um, and be able to identify what's going on he's making me feel like uh, there's a lot of pressure on my hips too it might just be because he's pressing down so hard on me to, to get his uh, information through Alright, 
That's enough of this guy. He's really strong. Hey, Shell. Could you come here? This guy, just hang out for a sec. All right, that's enough of this guy. He's uh, he's really strong. I just need you here because I like kind of blanked for a second again. What'd you hear? I guess when I walked down over the gates. Whew, that was wild. Anyway, I, as I was saying to you, when you start dealing with this kind of stuff, they can get really strong, and I don't know if you noticed that how strong he kind of got got on me like that. That was pretty weird. I'm going to have to definitely I'm gonna go out to the car and grab my sage after this. Hi there from PA. Uh, sorry if you saw me like blank out a little bit. That was weird. Uh, does he want to be found? Yeah, and he's showing water. When, he, when I asked him um, about being found, uh, he keeps showing me a lot of water. So I'm right now if you see me like kind of staring off, I keep telling him Angel Marie, this is pretty interesting if if this has anything to do with you. But he was gravitating a lot towards Cisco, but now he's like I'm going to tell you what he said. I told him to back off of me and he said you're not telling them what I want you to tell them. And so I'm saying, "Well, what do you want me to tell them?" And he's not really giving me any kind of clear answer. This dude's clearly very confused as to what's going on. He knows he didn't get a funeral. He knows that he died a really miserable death. Wild. Angel, don't freak out. Um, if you had a medium come to your house and, you, and this guy's acting very similar... Um, do me a favor, you can stop watching the video. Um, just chill out for a second. <sighs> okay. Angel, is Melbourne near where you live? Michelle, no, I feel pressure because he's very strong and pushing down on me. And he's making me very warm from it. Angel Marie says her house was built in 1934, and I asked him when he passed away, and he said 1929. But absolutely, this guy is not going without a funeral. So, um, what I'll have to do, I guess I'll have to do like a make uh, makeshift sort of uh, funeral, I guess. Say some prayers for this guy. Well, for anybody tuning in, it does not normally get this intense, but hey, when things happen, they happen. They come in. Um, I am asking this guy to back off of me, like, for good, because uh, he's really strong and he's going to wipe me out. And I want to do, like, some good high energy kind of stuff. Um, and I. It's my fault for kind of backing off of the Ouija board and letting him do what he was doing. I don't normally let them do that. It's pretty wild. Um, I will take this. Um, everything that I wrote down, right here, all the stuff that I wrote down, I'll take, uh, I'll take photographs of it and put it up. Can watching this intensify what's going on here? Uh, if it's that guy and I connected with him through your house, Angel, it, I mean, I don't want to say no, because I don't know nothing's set in stone as how it works, but, um, it might. So, if, uh, if you're a little bit afraid, just say some prayers and, uh, do that. Okay, said his name is Dan, Joel. All right, um, I know a lot of you have had readings from me. You know it doesn't go like this. This is just a spirit or a very angry ghost coming through that is uh, just trying to overpower and be a kind of a jerk and 
get his point across. I get it. He died miserably, man. I, I, that sucks. All right, Melbourne Ave is 15 minutes away from this this lady shell. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't see your photograph. So if you're not a lady, if you're more like a miss, I'm sorry. Um, so I guess Angel, I would see if uh, I can't come all the way up to New York. You're way too far, but I would definitely, if this has something to do with it, get into the history of your town, find out if there were any mafioso kind of things going on there um and if not that kind of like you know quote-unquote organized crime anything else that's going on they could have gone on there in the 20s to the 40s um to see if there are any speakeasies any kind of nonsense like that that went down it's really incumbent upon you um to find out what happened in your neck of the woods to see if you can find who this is the first name was dan he wouldn't give me a second name um It, but this feels oh, old, old. Um, and he talked about, like I said, I'm going to put a photograph of everything I wrote down. Um, he said, Dan Talk, Fanny Fanny, Gangsters. Um, they said, Maced him, padlocked him. Um, something about it being open and then gunshots. Then he talked about hinges, heavy guards. Oh, hinges, heavy guards. Jail. Do you have a prison near you anywhere? Um, Angel, is there a prison up near you? I would find out if there's a prison up near you. That, now that I'm going back over, you see why we write everything down? There is a prison near you, okay. Um, this has something to do with that. I'm sure, I don't, I didn't see, I don't know when you started watching this, but it seems as soon as I realized you were there and I started talking about you, thinking you were somebody else, this picked up. So do me a favor, not here on in the comments, in the uh, the messenger. When we're done, I want you to send me. Someone months ago told me his name was Dan. Okay, Angel, we don't know each other, right? I want everybody to know that's watching this that this is not like something that we staged or any nonsense like that because it's not what we do. Um, Shell, you see this? She had a medium talk to her, uh -huh. and she said that he that medium told her the guy's name was Dan also oh, wow. in her house. So, folks, it's it's very bizarre. Um, Angel, what I would say for you is that it's very very important um, that you go ahead and um, find somebody to come and bless your house and help this guy cross with a proper Christian. Funeral. Even if you don't know his last name, he wants a proper funeral. Okay. I'm sure he would prefer it um, if you knew where he was. I would. If there's a bridge near you, if they found any like John Doe's a long time ago. Um, and as I'm talking about this, I want you to know that the pressure is lightening up on me. So I'm in the right direction. Okay. Um, yeah, you can send me those photographs, but I'm telling you how to. I'm telling you how to find your relief. Okay, you need a priest came here, but you got tables were flipped over after because he told me he was going to flip chairs. I said that right. I everybody that's watching this, almost the 30 people that that saw this, watch that. Okay, um, watch me say that. So this is what you need to do. All right, you need to go to the church. The same priest. Ask him, please, to do a like a makeshift memorial funeral. Say the, the rights that the priest needs to say. Have him say that in the house. Take something that you have and use it as the memorial towards him and bury it properly. I'm not kidding you. As I'm telling you this, the air around me is getting colder and he's lightening up off of me, okay? Whoever it is that came to your house and blessed the house, ask them to anybody, even if it's... Just somebody ordained, like a deacon in the church that can help you that is allowed to do... I don't know who's allowed in the Catholic Church actually to do funeral rites, but that's what you need. And that will get get him to go. That'll help him cross over. He's not going until you do that, okay? I promise. Um, but once you do that, he'll go. Alright? Yes, funeral last rites. That's it. 
okay? And everybody here will say some prayers for you, okay? Including myself. And we'll uh, we'll talk. Not, I'll hit you up on the messenger after, but um, tomorrow we'll have a phone a phone conversation. We'll talk about this again, okay? Yes, makeshift funeral, exactly. Crazy. Whew. See, you never know what you're gonna get when you watch <laughs> watch this. Um, can we call it a program? Can I call this a program? <laughs> Can I call it a, program. my program, my stories? That's my pretty stories. crazy. Now, look, I'm telling you, as you guys are saying this, the air is getting chillier around me. That heat that I was feeling, even my posture is starting to feel better. And he's starting well, to lighten up. Heat down. Did you? Well, that's good. Thank God. <laughs> the indigestion and anxiety that I was feeling are all going. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to move my Ouija board out of the way now. So, with all sorts of fakes giving me stories and asking for money. I'm, I'm just telling you what to do. Everybody knows if they've talked to me, I don't do that. Um, I've been dealing with this almost a year. I'm really sorry. I'm going to tell you that that's exactly what you need to do. It is completely... Um, it is completely exactly what you need to do. Um, you need to go ahead and give him a funeral. And he will go. It won't cost you anything. Uh, maybe you should give a little donation to the church or mention that to them. They probably won't charge too much um, or ask for too much as a donation. But whoever you get to come, they will help you out, I promise. Um, and if you need me to help you find somebody, I'll do it. Obviously, it's recorded here. It's it's absolutely live. There's no way that anybody could say that this was not authentic and it, and it didn't happen that way um so if i got the name and the other medium got the name and we connected all the same dots and i'm here in new jersey and you're up in new york um uh, i mean it, it's got to be so this guy connected right through he saw that i was here um and that's that somehow i popped up something tells me that he manipulated me to show up or however it goes so do me a favor, hit the share button. Um, yeah, you're. He was letting you know he was around. Absolutely, that was that was definitely one of the most intense things that we've had in the last. I don't know, however long we've been doing this, three months. Wild. My head kind of hurts a little bit now. <laughs> Sorry, you have to give me a second. You can't believe it's real. I'm sitting at my dining room table talking to you over a telephone. Oh, my beautiful little baby's right here. And she's staring off too, but she just woke up. I might have woke her up with my loud talking. Wow. Yeah, listen, tell him, say out loud to him right now that you're going to get him a funeral. He will absolutely um, let you go. He will, he will less intensify. Oh, look, my pretty little baby girl. Hi. Um, but you're a medium. I didn't believe in ghosts eight months ago. I, well, now you believe, right? I hear that from a lot of skeptics. Um, she's like, I don't want to be on the program, Dad. Oh, see, doesn't she make you feel better, a little less anxious? That's what keeps me from... I know. See, she makes you feel a little bit better. Oh. Yeah. So, while we're doing this... Yeah, you know, this is crazy, right? Yep, we'll all do the same thing, Cisco. I agree with you. We'll do prayers and agreement, um, and agreement, injury, and love and light. Although I always say I'm not one of those mediums, but today I will be a love and light medium. We'll uh, we'll help that out, okay? So again, just um, send me a message, Angela, and we'll talk uh, tomorrow about all this, okay? As for everybody else, let's do some lighter stuff real quick. Um, we'll do a little pendulum stuff. I think I got a little gas less, left in the tank. And I told, uh, hi. I think she grew. I think so too. I told Brenda that I would try to connect to her dad. So, um, Brenda, if you could just tell me what your dad's first name is, and we'll, we'll see what we can do. Okay. Uh, no, Brenda, not really. They're not showing any signs yet but who knows sometimes they just talk in the air but i don't know if that's just kids in general to do that hi pretty oh 
That was so wild. I f I'm like really feeling it. No, sage won't work on all spirits. If they if they're locked in, they're locked in. You need um, intentions, blessings, prayers, and most of all, you need to help them. Um, you need to help them with what they want. He wants. I mean, he's obviously like this Italian guy, and he had strong Christian beliefs, so that's what he wants. He wants a, a proper funeral. Hi, pretty. Yeah. Love her. Yeah, it won't work. Okay, Gerald is his name. All right. So let's see if we can get Brenda's dad to come through, okay? Ask your uncle to come and do the, the funeral for you. Gerald. Gerald, do you want to come through? Let's see. So, I'm going to use Sue's pendulum that she gave to me. It's a beautiful gift. Show me yes. Stop. Show me no. Okay. So clockwise is yes, counterclockwise is no. Stop. I would like to plead. Oh, my baby's going to change diaper change. She's sad. Okay. Gerald, can I please speak with you? He says yes. Don't stop. Brenda, what's up with uh, your dad is showing me rainbows and stars? Seems pretty interesting. Rainbows and stars. And it looks like rainbows over stars. It's like a looks like a tattoo actually. Rainbow over stars. Yes. Okay, I'm on the right path. It says yes. Oh my God, Chris, Christina Rainbow Kimball? What is going on here tonight? Brenda is above Christina Rainbow Kimmel. And then this thing says Rainbow over Stars. That's interesting. Brenda, he had many tattoos? Okay. Uh, he's saying the word systematic to me. Uh, and more words that kind of go in line with that. Methodical. And then he says, Merrymaker? Okay. For you, Brenda, by the way, just so you know, when you get it, um, there's a little bit of a delay between what I say and you getting it. Oh, poor baby. Aww. She's 
needs to go back to sleep. She's so sleepy. Brenda, you still there? Oh, let's see. Pain in ribs. Lower ribs. Uh, saying suffering. Suffered. Silent. Lee, just bringing up uh, they didn't have health care. Well, if this isn't your dad, it's somebody because it's very specific. So, what he said was uh, systematic, methodical, something about being a merrymaker. Maybe he's very happy, or it could be in. Could be talking about you. Uh, as a matter of fact, as I'm looking back at that, now I'm seeing like a, a birthday cake or something. So maybe a celebration recently. Um, if anybody's never gotten a reading from me, I don't try to bridge any gaps. I just tell you what I pick up and what I make of what I'm seeing and hearing. Uh, and it's up to you kind of to figure out what it is. Because uh, I don't like to make anything fit where it doesn't. So then uh, when I go back down to, I think this has to do with his passing, he's showing me pain in my lower ribs. Um, and he's saying, suffered silently. So he didn't tell anybody about it. And he was saying it's because I didn't have any health care. Okay? Oh, okay, so all that's right, okay? So he died alone. Um, no health care. Oh, he died from a health, uh, brain hemorrhage. Well, he showed me a lot of pain in his ribs, though. I wonder if, if something started there and, and worked away its way up. Um, cause he's not showing me any of the any of the brain stuff. He's showing me all pain down here, Ooh, specifically down in here. So sometimes when we do these things, I, I talk to one spirit, but you know a couple are going to try to jump in, I'm sure. Um, triage? Triaged? So that's like a hospital term, right, where they take the most injured and then work from there. So I, I don't know if, some, if your dad is trying to bring somebody else through that maybe passed away in some sort of accident. Um, the pain in my ribs is actually intensifying as I'm talking about it. Uh, so this would be an accident with many people in it. Um, like maybe even as a not a disaster, but like more than four or five people. I don't know who this is for. More than four or five, where they had to operate on the worst to the least worst. Oh, could be. Whew. Uh, yeah, whoever this is is definitely another man. Um, and one of the men, not to be a, a weirdo, but he's making some feel some pain on my groin. <laughs> the things that they'll show us. So there's a lot going on here. Um, Brenda, is there anything you want to ask your dad? Um, yeah, Katrina, sometimes what happens is, and since it said rainbow over stars, um, it could be your dad absolutely coming through. What's your dad's name? And I'll, I'll do both. What kind of accident? I don't know. I don't know if this is like a, a train accident. Something where like, a, like people got hurt. Train or a lot of cars. Like a lot of motor vehicles, like a big motor vehicle accident. Maybe I, I'm unclear on that. Steve, uh, Michelle, tell me about what what is fitting your dad. Steve, uh, who is the lineman? Uh, and I think that you would know, like lineman, um, if that if this is one of your your fathers. I know this term, lineman.
Sorry, this is how it goes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Steve. Okay, so then, <laughs> there's yours then. Oh, that's right. Michelle, your your brother passed away in a car accident, right? And Christina, your birthday was last week? Oh my goodness, everybody's dads are, everybody's coming through. Isn't that crazy? Wow. So, listen, it, since I, uh, I actually had another medium friend of mine talk about this going to, like, group readings where um, you do, like, a gallery and everybody's kind of hanging out. Everybody kind of gets a reading in one way or another, and that's sort of what's happening right now is, like, everybody's family is kind of coming through and saying stuff, um, and they're letting you know that they're okay. All of them, Christina says, my and my dad's ribs in a car accident. See, so... All these people are coming through and they're they're saying hello. And I'm going to tell you right now that they're all okay. Um, and the the way I know is because earlier when you saw the thing that was um, Dan or whatever from Angel, he was pressing on me. He was making me very upset. He was pushing on me to, to give me all this attention. And the energy is completely different. Um, these spirits are very light. Um, so they are spirit. They go and they come back. So they are all okay. And I can tell you that right now. Um, they are all fine. Who's the lineman? Who? Oh, the telephone. This isn't a lineman. I know what this is. This is Michelle's brother. Um, he passed away. Not uh, if it's okay. He had a car accident um, from a telephone pole. So there's a lot of all of this stuff coming through. Um, they're all okay. And Joel, yeah, that's funny that I, that we said that in a reading, and that came through, right? And it already happened. Ah, well, a day late and a dollar short. Believe me, I, I've had that happen. <laughs> See things that already happen. What kind of psychic does that? It's nonsense. Um, all right. Uh, Brenda, I am going to give you a reading. Um, I guess that everybody's coming through together, so I'm going to give you a private reading on that one. I owe you one anyway. Um, and we'll do that. So, everybody, it's getting late. It's 1030. I so appreciate everybody coming through and saying hello. Um, do me a favor. If you're enjoying all this, make sure you tune in on Tuesdays. Um, we're going to talk more about Ouija board stuff, uh, where it came from, how it got started, some of the kind of weird stuff that happens around it, and the myth and the lore, so to speak. And I'll point you in the direction of some good literature and some videos and stuff. Um, so everybody knows, I do phone readings. Um, it kind of works just like this, except for I pick up the phone. Um, Tria Davis, your husband has that tattoo, Star Over Rainbow. That's crazy. <laughs> It's so funny how all this stuff works out, right? Um, so just do me a favor, hit the click, click the share button. Um, if you want to schedule a phone reading with me, if you live too far away, just uh, go ahead and send me a message. Um, Michelle, I did hear from Dina. I'm going to talk to her again tomorrow. We're going to talk some more. Um, and then check it, ask, check me out on Tuesday, 9 p.m. Uh, right here, we're down in the basement where I do the, the show down there usually. Um, and look for the stuff that I wrote down here from the readings, and I'll be putting it through. Angel, if you're still watching, make sure you send me a message and we'll talk. A lot of stuff came through this. For this is pretty wild. I uh, never would have expected this much stuff. So thanks, thanks everybody for watching. I totally appreciate it. You guys uh, rock. Thank you so much for watching me. Um, please do me a favor. Share my page with your friends. Uh, we're almost up to 1,000 uh, followers and likes and everything, which is totally amazing. Um, considering a couple months ago I was struggling to break 500 and now we're just skyrocketing right on up. Um, and it's all thanks to everybody who gives me all the support that you do. I totally appreciate it. Um, and of course, my biggest supporter, my wife, who's awesome and lets me be able to do all this amazing stuff. So, good night everybody. Thanks again. Please share. Um, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Don't forget to join the Paranormal Discussion page. Scotty, the NJ Medium's Paranormal Discussion page. I'll talk more stuff about that.
later. Bye-bye. <laughs>